Now, ever since he's taken charge at Twitter, Elon Musk has recommended a plethora of changes on the microblogging site. He's also fired close to about half of the company's staff. And amidst this, Twitter's co-founder and former CEO Jack Dorsey has now issued an apology. The former CEO has said that he was in fact sorry for growing the company too quickly. And this is what led to the mass layoffs. He said that he had owned responsibility for putting people in this situation. He also said that Twitter employees are strong and that they'll find a way to make things work. The Twitter employees, of course, have found out that they were let go when they were greeted by a black screen when they tried to log in. They were not informed about losing their job by a phone call or by an email. They saw their work laptop automatically reboot and then just go blank. And these employees initially received a mail on Thursday and this mail informed them that they would know their fate the very next day. The second email confirmed that about 50% of the staff had now lost its jobs. Elon Musk is preparing to roll out a new feature that would cost users money if they want to send direct messages to well-known public personalities on the network. The move is intended to create income for Twitter and it comes after Elon Musk confessed that Twitter's income had decreased significantly. Now, taking to Twitter, Musk had earlier said that Twitter had a massive drop in revenue due to activist groups pressurizing advertisers. Meanwhile, Twitter has now formally released an update of its app on the Apple App Store on Saturday and the newly released update charges $8 for the highly coveted blue check verification mark. And this is currently available only in places like Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, the United States. And India is set to get the Twitter blue check in less than a month and Musk has also outlined as to how Twitter users will now be able to attach long form texts to tweets. Meanwhile, in an open letter, the United Nations Human Rights Chief has urged Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk, to ensure that respect for human rights is adhered to as a core of the social network and its management. And this comes just a day after Elon Musk sacked half of Twitter's workforce. Moreover, as the news about the layoffs came to the surface and with the uncertainty looming around Twitter regarding whether misinformation and hate speech will proliferate further on the platform under Musk, people have now started to look for alternatives to post their thoughts online and they have found quite a few other social media platforms including one called Mastodon. In the weeks since Elon Musk took over Twitter the number of people signing up on this platform has also increased and according to its creator Eugene Rochko Mastodon has gained about 230,000 users since the 27th of October and this is the day when Elon Musk had taken control of Twitter. And as of now, it has got some 655,000 active users each month. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.